No! I could have caught that thing with my hands. It's like a dark abyss, and my voice echoes off the tunnel. I really do not like that. There's a fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's sick. What is up, team? Now that your blood is pumping, we are back with another video today, and Britain's back. Hey, Britain. Hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> and today, we're gonna be going out and trying to get some fish in a primitive fish trap. You ever get stuck like at 3 a.m. watching those guys who just build stuff in the Amazon? Yeah, it's like they'll be in the middle of the jungle and somehow they build a house out of it. Out of their hands, yeah. Right. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna build a house. Oh. <laughs> the football's still coming. But we're gonna be going out today. We're gonna be getting some sticks and trying to build a fish trap on our own with our own two hands. Except we're gonna use some bait. We're not catching the bait. But other than that, we're gonna go out, we're gonna find a canal by Paul's house and give it our best shot, right? That's exactly what we're gonna do. All and right, we're baby. also gonna be using a machete. We're gonna go find the stuff, get everything together. We'll meet you at the canal. Oh, I yo. got the machete. Here, catch. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> Brenton, I'm so deep. You make me wanna go deep. Wow. We made it to the jungle of Jupiter. That's what they call it. First thing that we have to do to make this trap is we gotta get the sticks. So I asked Brent, I said, how are we gonna get the sticks? His option was a machete and finding trees. Just gotta throw this machete to Brenton real quick. Hey Brenton, here's the machete, dude. Yeah, throw that at me. So the goal of this is to get our sticks from here, right? Yes, we need straight-ish sticks and we need a lot of them. Like. Well, that looks pretty straight-ish. That's what I was looking at. I was thinking we come to this one. And then, uh, is that one shot? That was, it turned into three. It was gonna be one. That's pretty though. impressive. Mm -hmm. You went to the jungle. This is how they do it, right? Yeah, they'll, uh, they'll de twig it, is what I would call it. Once the stick gets about that long, it's, it's gonna be a little too flimsy after that. So we'll. Alright, we're gonna need all these. We're starting off, we only got four. We got a long ways to go. A long, long, long ways to go. For everyone watching this, what makes the best stick? Um, you ever, uh, <laughs> length is a big thing in my life because I've never had much of it. What's the girth on like a good stick? Like this um, big probably? I mean, that girth is good. It's not, it's not bad. It doesn't matter really. It matters, but it's good if you find the right person to use it. We're going for healthy sticks, okay. unfortunately. If there's any dead ones though, but they've still got that structural integrity, they won't go limp on you, then you're good. That's what we're looking for. And straight, straight mamas. This one's leaning decide. a little bit left. That's all right. Yeah, that's fine. That's common. It is leaning left, though. You're right about that one. Oh. All right. I really thought about trying to cut one of these down myself with the machete, but it seems like he's just enjoying it so much. Should I be concerned? How are you feeling? <laughs> oh, it's all about the angle and the arch. So you really want to get your back into it, you know? Mm -hmm. Just It's more of a chop, you know, than a... Okay. Right. Yep. Tell him. Oh! Did I just bring a whole tree down? Uh huh. Wow, I feel like a piece of crap. <laughs> there she isn't. <laughs> Learned that straight from my papa. Papa B. That'd be me. That'd be you. <laughs> just really got to put your back into it. It's like that. That. That's it. And then you finish it off with your unlimited riz. Is that a cactus? Yeah. It's looking a little limp. It is looking quite limp. You okay there? <laughs> you good? Oh, he's dead. Show him. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, what? Was that the cactus, bro? We're acquiring a lot of wood. You know I'm all about my wood. Different flavors, different sizes, different kinds, different types. I actually took a turf and grass management class when I was in ninth grade. That has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> That we were talking about. I was wondering. Just in case everybody wanted to know. Doiza, Bermuda, I know all them grasses. All right, let's, we'll keep going now. How many sticks do we need to acquire? Um, here's what I was thinking. Right. I got, I have no idea. Okay. Um, not even the slightest clue. Mm hmm. But, but, we should be around enough. Professional wood hauler. I dropped a piece. Yeah, I'll bend over and get it. Thank you. Can you set that in my pile? 
There we go. Back to the video to complete this challenge, like the studious, sophisticated young men that we are. We're getting serious now, all right? Yeah. Britain, so tell them how serious you are. We're really serious to the point where all of these canals used to be full of water, like a lot of water. We come here to catch gar, tilapia, carpet croaker, large nose backslayer. Although what happened was is it literally dried up. Florida's kind of in a drought, so there the only there's no water down there. Like it's gone. It's all up under this massive drain under the road, not even really under there. So all the fish that were in this part of the canal are all inside of this pipe. It's the only deep part. Like not a, like when we came up here, they were everywhere, but then they went in the pipe. We're gonna set the trap right outside the pipe. I mean, there's everything in here. Walking catfish, tilapia, carpet croaker, gar, that's a big one. We could catch those. Mayan cichlids, there's literally everything. Florida's a weird place. Let's see what we catch. Maybe or maybe not an axolotl. I know someone who can catch those. The objective today, we're gonna take these sticks to build ourselves our very own fish trap right here in front of the drain, like Brenton said. You good, dude? I'm good. All right, we have to get all these sticks down here and we're gonna create a funnel. I only have one hand. There's fish everywhere, bro. Are you serious? <gasps> agar, 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 agar. Oh my God, no, no. Where? I could have caught that thing on my hands. Bro, it can't go anywhere. They're all like in this tunnel. There's no water that way and there's no water that way. Before the guard popped up, what I was saying is we're gonna take these sticks, we create a V almost funnel. It creates a little circle at the bottom. The fish swim in. They smell the bait and then they can't swim back out. All right, Brenton, what do you have going on here, man? Making a double barrier. We're gonna have one thing with sticks and one thing with rocks. I'll do the rocks just as like extra security for the sticks. Cause I mean, if a gar comes in there, it's gonna try and get out. So the sticks are gonna go on the inside of these rocks. So they got something, something hits it, they're blocked by these rocks. You can see how I'm, I'm about this deep right now. Pretty deep, so plenty of room for anything to go up in here. So everything gets stuck down here. It's dirty right now. We're gonna clear it out down here. I'm gonna show you guys the tunnel under here. There's not very much water, but you can see the end of it. What would you say? It's probably like a foot and a half deep. Yeah, if that. Yeah. Get those baby mamas. We're gonna, if they haven't had a hard enough time, we're gonna lure them in with our trap and give them a harder time, but then we're gonna move them to a bigger canal. <laughs> I speak dog in my free time. <laughs> I just told him to be quiet. Hey! <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god, you almost ripped off my big toe. That would have been tragic. <laughs> almost lost a piggy. You ever go to Piggly Wiggly? What's that? I don't know, I heard it's a grocery store. It's coming along. Freaking mint. There we go. Yeah, Papa. Okay. Pretty much what's gonna happen. All back here, it's all deep. Nothing can get out of these walls. They're all surrounded by rocks. Stuff is gonna swim through here, into here. With the way this is shaped, they can't come back through it. I don't know why that works or why fish traps are built like pop up a picture. They're built like that for a reason. They swim through that smaller hole and they're in a bigger area. They prefer big holes to swim around in. That's it, that's what it is, I knew yeah. that. We're just gonna pack these sides right here full of bait. It works. The caveman did it, so we can do it. I watched a video on it. Yeah. There's actually a video, it's in black and white, but it's from the caveman. Posted it on YouTube. Really? Yeah, yeah, about Where building. they did this? They built the same thing, yeah. Yeah. And they <laughs> caught axolotls? No. No, 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 they caught platinums. Platinum. Yeah, platinum. They caught the albino ones. Oh, yeah, the yeah, albino yeah. red tails? Yes, oh. dude, and the albino plecos. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's like a one in a million fine. That's nuts. I wonder yeah, how I they do that. I, you gotta be really good at what you do. Really yeah. good. Well, back to <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to mention we have bait. We didn't put the bait in. We need that. <laughs> yeah, we do need that. So we actually looked on Google to see what cavemen use for bait, and it was chicken liver. From Walmart. From Walmart, actually. Yeah. So we went to Walmart and got chicken liver. However, somehow, some way, Brinton put it in the trap. I didn't know we wanted to film it, but it's in there. You didn't even let me film it. I know, but there is chicken liver in there. And not only that, look at all the minnows that are surrounding it, bro. Look at all the minnows oh! in there. We already got minnows in the trap, Packed dude. full of fish, bro. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we're gonna leave the trap here for about an hour. Come back. We're gonna go to Paul's. You got some faith. We should have at least one. It's a it's a, a little bit of faith. We already have minnows. There's so many fish in here. They're all gonna come back out of this drain whenever we leave. We got this. All right, see you guys in one hour. Does this mean I'm finishing the video by myself? Yes, it is. All right, all have fun. Is. We're back, except this time I'm by myself. Brent had to go to the airport. I know. Sad news, he left me here, and that means I have to go down here and check the trap by myself. I'm gonna be filming it, sticking my hand in there with one hand, using the camera on the other, and hopefully 
we have some fish in there, so let's go check. Can't see anything because the water is so murky, but I see some minnows in there already. This is a serious mission by yourself. I'm a little bit scared of gators. Look at this tunnel, man. And it's almost dark. The odds are not in my favor right now. Oh God, it's like a dark abyss and my voice echoes off the tunnel. I really do not like that. There's a fish. I have my hand on a fish right by the entrance. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is it? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Nice big tilapia. This thing is beautiful. Let's go. Let's go ahead and get a release. I think I felt another fish in there. Goodbye, little guy. Thank you. So it does work. The cavemen might have known something. <gasps> you guys, my camera died. I know the quality changed, but we caught another freaking tilapia. This one is not as big as the last one, but we caught two fish. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a release on this guy and I'll talk. Thank you, little guy. This is all it freaking was. A couple of sticks, some rocks to build it up, and this little pool by this tunnel with some liver in it. We caught two monster tilapia in here. Then go ahead, go back to Paul's and finish this video, but we got it freaking done, guys. Let's go. I'm so excited. All right, I'll catch you guys back at Paul's. I know my camera died right before I finished up the last clip. However, we're about to feed the 5,500 gallon. It's, it's done, right? It's done. It's good? No, look at this. Look through the window. Look how clear it is. And you see all sorts of, like, we'll get them. Hey, all the way to the other side, you can see a dang pebble, like a literal pebble. The Paku's coming right at us. Oh my gosh, dude. That was a sick clip. This is about to be the <laughs> sweetest feeding footage ever. It's like a baby whale. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Oh my god. They're smart. Crazy. Once you start feeding them, they just start coming up. How are you today, buddy? Every fish Every is fish literally there. Find them sucking them up. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. I just want to close out this video. Britain's gone. Pretty sad, I know. Home. I know, he flew home mid-video on me, so I finished by myself. But I just want to say thank you guys for all the support lately. I really appreciate it. I'm not even going to do the like and the subscribe. Just want to say thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.